In this video, we explore how you can invest for less with Invest Engine and keep your fees to an absolute minimum. If you like what you see, then use my link in the description below to make sure you get a £25 welcome bonus. But first, don't forget to subscribe. Here we are going to specifically pitch Invest Engine against Vanguard. And Vanguard are well known as a low cost investment platform, but you do have to pay their ongoing fee, albeit a low one of 0.15%. But with Invest Engine, for DIY investors, there is no platform fee. So this presents a fantastic opportunity for DIY investors who like to invest in exchange traded funds, and you can reduce your fees by moving to Invest Engine. As I mentioned, to get a £25 welcome bonus when you join Invest Engine, be sure to use the link in the description below. Terms and conditions do apply. So if you do currently invest with Vanguard platform and you have a portfolio you have created yourself made up of exchange traded funds, rather than choosing their index funds or their life strategy or target retirement funds, then you can reduce your fees by moving to Invest Engine. Plus with Invest Engine, you get that superb feature of being able to rebalance your portfolio at just the press of one button. With Vanguard, if you create your own portfolio, you still need to do rebalancing manually by yourself and that is a pain. So here we're going to look at those ETFs offered by both the Vanguard and Invest Engine platform. Using Invest Engine to invest in Vanguard ETFs, you can build up a globally diversified, super low cost investment portfolio and you can build up a portfolio covering the following markets. Europe, Global, UK, USA, Emerging Markets, Japan and Asia Pacific. And you can choose both equity and bond asset classes and also choose between accumulating and income ETFs. So based upon these geographies and asset classes, you can easily build up a low cost, globally diversified and well balanced portfolio using these Vanguard ETFs alone and it is cheaper to do so on the Invest Engine platform than with Vanguard. I should point out though that with Invest Engine you can only choose to invest in exchange traded funds. With Vanguard you do also get the choice of index funds and their blended funds such as the Life Strategy and Target Retirement Funds. So you need to be aware of this when making your choice of which investment platform is most suitable for you. When we look at just the Vanguard ETFs available on Invest Engine, you do actually have more choice than you do with Vanguard UK. And then of course, with Invest Engine, you are not restricted to just Vanguard ETFs. You have hundreds of ETFs to choose from, from a large range of providers. Keeping with those ETFs common to both Vanguard and Invest Engine, you will notice that Invest Engine offers you the choice between distributing and accumulating ETFs, whereas the Vanguard platform in the UK does not offer you the choice of both. Such as with the FTSE Developed World ETF, where the VEVE is available on both platforms in the UK, but on Invest Engine, you also have the choice of the VHVG ETF, which is the accumulating version. So with Invest Engine, not only do you keep your fees incredibly low as a DIY investor, but you also have more choice. So let's take a closer look at these Vanguard ETFs where you could save yourself money as a DIY investor by moving your investments to Invest Engine. Firstly, a good place to start is by looking at a global ETF which provides instant global diversification to your portfolio and exposure to different markets and sectors. And this global market is captured in the Vanguard FTSE Developed World VEVE, or for those of you who prefer the accumulating version, then that is the VHVG ticker. This ETF offers a low cost way of investing in the global stock market and it has an ETF ongoing charge of just 0.12%. This ETF tracks the largest companies in the developed world by following the FTSE Developed World Index. This particular ETF generates income quarterly and as I said, Invest Engine also offers you the choice of the accumulating version of this exchange traded fund. The main holdings in this ETF are Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet and Meta, which was formerly known as Facebook. The US has the highest weighting in terms of global regions, which is to be expected given it is the largest market, with industrial, financial and technology being the top market sectors. Keeping to a global focus and for income investors who want to potentially receive a high yield, there is the FTSE All World High Dividend Yield ETF. Again, you can choose between the distributing and accumulating version of this ETF on Invest Engine 
This ETF has a reasonably high ongoing charge of 0.29% and it tracks the high dividend global equities via the FTSE All World High Dividend Yield Index. Top holdings include well-known names such as Samsung and Johnson & Johnson. The ETF has a high proportion invested in the US but also in Europe excluding the UK. Another globally focused Vanguard fund with Invest Engine is the FTSE All World ETF and this is identified by VWRL and the accumulating version is called VWRP. This ETF tracks the FTSE All World Index stocks from both developed and emerging countries worldwide. It has an ongoing charge of 0.22%. With all investment choices, be sure to read the key investor information document and the fund fact sheet before making your investment decisions and also look at past performance data, although this is no guarantee of future performance. You can see here that this ETF has the usual companies in the top holdings and a large allocation to the US. Many investors like to hold US focused exchange traded funds because it is the largest market and the S&P 500 has performed phenomenally well over the past, but that is no guarantee of future performance. It is worth noting that the US market and the valuations are perceived to be rather high at the moment, so that may affect the future earnings potential. The Vanguard S&P 500 ETF is a popular choice for investors and this is identified by the ticker VUSA for the distributing version and VUAG for the accumulating version. This ETF has a really low ongoing charge of 0.07% so it is a really cheap way to invest in the US stock market. Past performance data from the Key Investor Information document shows why this fund is so popular with past returns in excess of 31%. In the top holdings you will see the usual suspects show up again with Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet and Meta. Now looking to the UK market where in contrast to the USA valuations are looking on the cheap side so that has a potential for better than average returns in the future although that is no guarantee. And here we have the FTSE 100 with a low ongoing charge of 0.09%. Look for the ticker VUKE for the distributing version of this ETF and VUKG for the accumulating version. Past returns are shown here for the FTSE 100 ETF taken from the key investor information document and whilst there have been some decent returns in some years it's also been quite a bumpy ride. Top holdings will help add exposure to some different well-known companies including AstraZeneca, Royal Dutch Shell, Unilever, Diego and HSBC. Moving on to Europe now and there is the FTSE Developed Europe Excluding UK ETF which is identified by the ticker VERX for the distributing version or VERG for the accumulating version and this has an ongoing charge of just 0.1%. Top holdings provide a bit of variety to your portfolio with well-known brands including Nestle and Louis Vuitton. Asia Pacific and Japan can offer some good diversification to your portfolio and these are covered by Vanguard funds. There is the FTSE Japan ETF identified by VJPN for the distributing version or VJPB for the accumulating version. And there's also the Vanguard developed Asia Pacific excluding Japan identified by VAPX. These funds have an ongoing charge of 0.15%. Top holdings with the Japan ETF include Toyota and Sony and with the developed Asia excluding Japan, their top holdings include Samsung Electronics which has over 10% of the holdings allocation. The last of the equity ETFs common to both the Invest Engine and Vanguard platform is the Vanguard FTSE Emerging Markets ETF which has an ongoing charge of 0.22%. The distributing version of this ETF is identified by VFEM and the sister accumulating version of the ETF is identified by VFEG and that is also available on Invest Engine, whereas the accumulating version is not available on Vanguard Platform UK. These ETFs are of higher risk than the other ETFs we have looked at so far and this is because of the investment focus being in the emerging markets and those economies are typically more volatile than the developed world. Past performance is shown in this chart from the Key Investor Information document and whilst there have been some strong years there have also been some large downsides as well. Volatility is to be expected with emerging market investments. Having a small allocation to emerging markets can help to add a bit of spice to your portfolio though. 
So that's covered off the equity market and now we look at those bond ETFs that are common to both InvestEngine and Vanguard where you can move your investments to InvestEngine and save yourself some money. And don't forget that link in the description below and if you use that link to open your InvestEngine account you will get a £25 welcome bonus. Firstly we'll look at those bonds with a US focus and these include the Vanguard USD corporate bonds identified by VUCP with an ongoing charge of 0.09% and there's also the Vanguard USD Treasury bond identified by VUTY with an ongoing charge of 0.07%. Again the Vanguard UK platform only offers the distributing versions of these ETFs whereas with InvestEngine you get the choice of between both the distributing and the accumulating versions of these funds as shown here. Out of these two ETFs the Treasury Bonds ETF is the lower risk Past performance is shown here but that is no guarantee of future performance. Here the corporate bonds shown on the left hand side have delivered higher returns but they've also had larger downsides when compared to the treasury bonds which are shown on the right hand side. Another low cost bond ETF is the Vanguard Eurozone government bonds which is identified by the ticker VETY and this has an ongoing charge of just 0.07%. This ETF is a low risk investment and performance has delivered low returns while having bond exposure can reduce the overall volatility of your portfolio. Two more to go and InvestEngine offers both the distributing and accumulating Vanguard Global Aggregate Bond ETFs identified by VAGP and VAGS. These have a low ongoing charge of 0.1% and track investment grade bonds issued in emerging and developed markets worldwide via the Bloomberg Barclays Global Bond Index. For these two funds there wasn't any performance data available when I did the research. Lastly there is the Vanguard Emerging Markets Government Bonds ETF and this is identified by VEMT for the distributing version and VEMA for the accumulating version. And the Vanguard platform again does not offer the accumulating version. Past performance is shown in this table here and 2019 gave good returns of 13%. So this selection of ETFs allows you to create a globally diversified and well balanced portfolio and you can do so for less by moving your investments to InvestEngine. So it will be cheaper for you to invest in these ETFs on InvestEngine than it will with Vanguard. And if you use my link in the description below you'll qualify for a £25 welcome bonus, terms and conditions do apply. So if ETF investing is your style it does seem to make sense to move your investments to InvestEngine and save yourself some money which means you get to keep more of your investment returns. But that's all for now, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.